nut up and shut up. Why is it that every time we're faced with a difficult situation, we cannot help but fucking complain? Why do we whine? Why do we gripe? Why do we moan? Why do we think that it's going to be easy? Why don't we just nut the fuck up and shut the fuck up? Mm. So, I think, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, we were just just the best at this since the dawn of time. Because we weren't. Fuck no. But there gets to be a point when you're just sick and tired of losing and sick and tired of being a loser. Not saying that we were ever just like just horrible losers because we weren't. But just knowing that you can do much more. And it gets to a point to where you either have to nut up or shut up. You can't say that, hey, I want this or I want that. And then not be willing to put in the work for it past a certain point because you've been talking about it for so long. Right. Because there, there there's been circumstances where I've known a guy should I even been a guy where I would be like, man, I'm going to talk to that girl on this day. Psych. And then the day would happen. I'd see her back. Nah, you know, she's with people. Nah, fuck that. I'm not doing it. But you've also been the type of guy that we turn around the car for, drop you off so that you can go get this beautiful stallion's number. That is true. But that was, that was much later. That was much later. But that is nutting up and shit. Exactly. Up. Exactly. For shout out. For shout Yeah, for shout For shout So what I'm saying is we all know a person or you might even be that person where You've talked about it for so fucking long. And when the opportunity has presented itself, you've pushed it to the side and said, man, I'll do it next time or I'll do it this time or I'll do it two weeks from now. But as somebody who's around that, say if it's Jose is around me and I keep saying that shit, right? Eventually, I would expect him to say, and he probably would say, bro, shut the fuck up. You're being a fucking insert word there. You know what I'm saying? Wussy. Yeah. Yeah. You keep talking and you're not doing this shit. You either got to nut up or shut up because I don't even want to hear you right now. And it's like it's like Drake, you know, he said a girl's got a business plan or whatever the fuck, but she's never she doesn't have the chance to write it down or didn't have the chance to write it down. Everybody has a, a plan or everybody has an idea on what they want to do, but they rarely carry it out and see it through. It's hard to nut up and shut up. But the ones that do nut up and shut up are the ones that get all the rewards. So if you're not getting the shit that you want, more often than not, you're not nutting up and shutting up. You're letting somebody else do it and you're letting somebody else get the rewards that you want. So in order to nut up and shut up, the biggest thing that I feel like has helped me and probably helped you is not treating yourself like a child, taking the fucking training wheels off and saying, hey, look, I'm just going to ride this bike, and if I fall off and bust my ass and scrape my knee, fuck it. I got to learn somehow how to ride this shit without the fucking training wheels. So be it. And a lot of y'all have the fucking training wheels on. You got to take this shit off, experience how real life is, and until you really start to do that, nutting up and shutting up becomes easier that way. And if you don't do that, it's always going to be difficult for you to nut up and shut up because you've never experienced it. It's something foreign to you. But again, those who are fluent in it are the ones that get all the benefits and get all the results that you want. And it looks like you're looking up something here. So I'm very interested to see what you have for us today. I'm not looking up anything in particular. Uh, I was actually making sure that our content is scheduled for today, this evening. Mm. And it looks like I don't have any pieces of content scheduled. So it's a good thing that I checked. <laughs> See, you have to be able to multitask. That's actually an example of nutting up and shutting up. How is that? Because I could complain mm. and I could be like, oh my goodness, I don't want to do this. I'm in the middle of a podcast, right? I could say, it's going to disturb my focus. It's going to disturb my flow. Perhaps it's disrespectful to Austin. <laughs> a whole slew of other bullshit that I could complain about. But rather than that, I just say, okay, it has to be fucking done. Let me shut the fuck up and do it. Just like never complain and never explain. And just do what needs to get done. And that's why I think most people 
I mean, nutting up and shutting up is not easy. And in today's society where we thrive on instant gratification and where we reward appearance, not reality, right. we reward people who present themselves to have a certain lifestyle and appear as if they have a certain level of acumen or wealth or success. We automatically categorize them as high value or just valuable in general and look up to them when we don't know what's behind the scruff. We don't know if what's behind the scruff is actually rough or if it's weak, if it's smooth, if it's unpaved. If that road is not the road least traveled, it's a fucking highway, a toll road that they just temporarily paid to get on. Just like people who rent private jets, sorry, the cabin of a private jet, just to take photos and shoot music videos and yeah. act like there's something that they're not. Mm. And it's difficult to nut up and shut up because it's a long game. It's short-term pain for long-term gain, not long-term pain for short-term gain. Mm -hmm. It's doing the hard work even when you don't want to. It's waking up at odd hours when other people are asleep. It's working or sleeping when other people are out at night. It's doing the unconventional. It's doing the uncomfortable. It's going against the grain entirely. It's rewriting the fabric of your existence in contrast to the lame, lackluster, and for lack of a better word, utter disgust that is the average human. So since you said that, <clears throat> if you have any aspirations to have your own business or be an entrepreneur or what have you, if you don't know how to nut up and shut up, you're not going to succeed at all. You're not. Because on this road, this is not something that, though we have each other, nobody else besides who you start this shit with, or more often than not, just you, is going to do the work. So if you're not about what the fuck you say that you're about, nothing's going to happen. You're not going to succeed. So if you have any form of laziness or procrastination or wuss in you, this shit's not going to work because those insufficiencies are going to come to the forefront more often than not in the worst times for you. Because when you have to do something and you're naturally inclined to procrastinate, then that natural inclination is going to come out and you're not going to get the shit done. Same thing with if you're lazy, it's going to come to the forefront and you're going to miss out on an opportunity because you're lazy. Or same thing because you don't know enough and you haven't researched enough on this particular subject when you have to have a conversation with someone where they're asking, hey, what is this? And you're like, mm, it's going to come to the forefront at the worst times. So if you're not about it and you don't nut up and shut up and get these things done, this shit is not going to fucking work or your shit is not going to fucking work whatsoever because nobody's going to do this shit for you. It's not a group project. In group projects, you can get by in school with doing minimal work because you're working in a group. And more often than not, there's going to be some overachievers like us. They're just going to be like, yeah, fuck you guys. I'm just going to do the whole thing myself just so I can get a fucking good grade. And I don't give a fuck if you help us or not. But if you're naturally that guy or that girl that's in the corner like, uh, yeah, thanks for doing that and didn't do shit and you want to have your own business, you're going to fucking fail because, again, when you're doing that shit, nobody's there to save you but you. So you only go as far as what you can do and the work that you put in. So to say that, say for example, right now, because of a because of a schedule that we have to attend to next week, we have to do nine podcasts. <laughs> as well as our regularly scheduled podcast for this week. So every single day, we have done at least two podcasts on top of the ones that we already had to do for this week so that we can be, so that we can still deliver content to you all for the next coming weeks. This is a exact moment of nutting up and shutting up because I almost guarantee you that most of you and most people in general would have said, ah, fuck no, we'll just take the week off. Or we'll just take two weeks off. That's too much. 
But if you're really about the things that you say that you're about through hell or high water, you're going to get the shit done. Even if it makes your life more complicated, even if it means that you have to give this up or give time out to go to the gym or to go party or to go do X, Y, Z, you have to get the shit done. So that is a, a very good example of nutting up or shutting up and where most people would have failed to nut up because it's too much of an inconvenience. Nutting up normally isn't easy. It's a very big inconvenience. But if you don't go through those inconveniences of nutting up and shutting up, you don't get the convenience of the luxuries that you see that everyone else has once they get through those inconveniences. You know, there's no better feeling than nutting up and shutting up. There's no better feeling than triumphing against all odds. Mm. There's no feeling that can quite match proving everybody wrong. Mm. There's no feeling quite like being Batman. Ooh. The Dark Knight. Mm. Nobody knows what you've been through. Nobody knows where you've gone. Nobody knows what you're doing. Nobody knows who you are and what you're capable of until they open their eyes and one day you're a multi-millionaire philanthropist who's also a badass fucking martial artist who's saving Gotham. The reason why it's worthwhile to nut up and shut up is because not only do you get to be your own superhero, not only do you get to gain the respect of other people around you, but you get to do it in a way that has the most elegance and class. You do it in a way where nobody knows. Nobody sees it. Nobody was here for the conversation that we just had before we hopped on mic. Nobody was here when we started our first podcast, episode one, back in May of 2023. Nobody was there when we experienced countless amounts of rejections in all of our businesses, client rejections, X, Y, Z. Nobody sees the failed phone calls. Nobody sees the shitty emails. Nobody sees the stress. Nobody sees the bank balances. Nobody sees the negative draws. They also don't see the positive draws. They don't see the, the lowest lows, nor do they see the highest highs. They only see what we want them to see or what they choose to see. So nutting up and shutting up is not for them. It's for you. Mm. And you will draw the best degree of satisfaction from this. It's like when you're in the gym. Those last reps that you hit when you're just pushing it from 90% to 100% to 110%, you've passed your limit and you're still pushing it. There's no better feeling than re-racking the weights or dropping the weights after you complete that set that you didn't think you would finish. You didn't think you'd get those last reps. You didn't think you could move that weight that easy. And you did that shit, nothing feels like that. That is the power that you hold when you nut up and shut up. That is very, very true. And call it petty, call it what you want. But because you have nutted up and shut it up, when you go through that, you realize that, man, not only did I do this and I proved to myself that I can do this, you get a sense of pride that you know that most people won't do this shit. And as Jose said all those things that you don't see and that people don't understand, getting the things that you eventually get and then people saying, wow, I want those things. You get to think in your mind and have a nice little chuckle, a nice little laugh. Hmm. You really don't want this. Shit. This whole process, every fucking thing that we've done over the last however many years has proven to me that most people do not want the things that they say that they want. They like the idea of it. 
but they don't want what it actually brings. So when you nut up and shut up, it's actually a good shit test because you really find out what you really want in life and who you really are in life. Because you can get into the ring and you nut it up and shut up and said, fuck it, I'm going to get in the ring. And then you get hit with that first punch and you're like, you know what? I don't like this shit. I got into the ring. I'm not a pussy. Damn. I'm not scared. But it's not for me. Or because you nut up and shut up, you realize once you get in that ring and you get punched, damn, that shit hurt. But I said I wanted to be the best of the best. So fuck that. Keep going. And it's a very reassuring and freeing moment when you realize who you are. Because through multiple times in our lives, especially in the last year or so with going down this pathway of entrepreneurship and business, we are proving to ourselves every day that we are who we say we are. We are authenticating ourselves over and over and over again. And it's not going to happen just once. You're not just going to get punched just once to where, because anybody can get punched just once and be like, you know what? I'll keep going. Try getting punched 3,000 fucking times and still getting up every morning and saying, all right, let's go through this again. Let's do it again. I'm good. It's fine. I'm a little sore. I don't really feel like it today, but nah, still got to go. So I would definitely want all of you to experience this and to nut up and shut up so you can really discover who you are as a person. And there's no shame or no guilt cast upon someone who doesn't want the same life or the same things as we do once they figure out they've gone down this path and that is not for them. More power to you. You know who you are. I fuck with that. You're good in my book. But if you're on the sideline saying, man, I wonder what it's like to be a player. I wonder what it's like to be an athlete. I wonder what it's like to be in the game and you never take the chance or take the opportunity to get in the game. Now that I have a problem with. And you can't say that you want some shit and then be too scared to get in the game. Nut up, shut up, get in the game and see who you are. See what type of person you are. Then at that point in time, you figure out who you really are and what you're really meant to do in this world. What do you have to lose? Great question. I don't think there's a single excuse for not trying even once. Just like Austin said, you have all the reason and all the purpose to pursue something that is meaningful, difficult, and worthwhile all in one go. Is it easy? No, by definition, it's difficult. Like I said, it is difficult. Is it expedient? No. Is it worthwhile? Yes. And like we always say, even if you fail, you now have data that tells you what not to do and what you shouldn't do and what you're incapable of doing and where your strengths and weaknesses lie. Exactly. You learn and you progress. Jordan Peterson says, I would rather go down the wrong road, turn around, and then take the right road that never have taken a single road at all or stayed on the same path and same trajectory that leads to absolute nowhere and utter abyss along with nihilism and a high degree of depression. Why would you choose something that's exponentially more painful? We actually talked about this in the past. I don't remember when, but this was a while ago. It hurts more to bear the cross of not doing what you need to do than it does actually doing it. It hurts you more to be overweight, eat like a slob, and be an absolute simp who pays for women on 
OnlyFans. Billions of dollars of profit every single year to horny fucks who have no self-control. You, my friend, are in more pain than Austin and I could ever be in. Ever. Ever. And it's by your own damn choice. And if you choose to be a victim, that's a choice. If you choose to make steps and actionable and, and create an actionable plan by which to circumvent or regulate, mediate, improve your current cir- circumstances, that is all within your control. As Bedros Kulian says, <coughs> change can take place in an instant once you flip the switch. It's all up to you. Either you can choose to nut up and shut up, or you can just choose to shut up and dwindle like a candle that's been blown out. Do you want to be like this, illuminating the, illuminating the room, or would you prefer to be like this, out oh. in smoke? Oh, <laughs> that boy, that boy's life. It's for you to decide. That boy's cold, boy. Oh, my goodness. Now, hold on. I want to end it like this because you made me think of something that David Goggins said. Oh, 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 one and only shout out to Goggins. Shout out David Goggins. My boy, David. So imagine this, right? I don't know what you believe in, but let's just say you believe that there's a heaven, right? And you're up there. You're about to walk in. And God himself or herself, whatever you believe. Mm. You know, yeah. I, 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 don't <laughs> don't yeah, don't, nah, don't nah, allow nah, wiggle room, Austin. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I'll fuck with y'all. But so God says, that's crazy. He starts to hold on. Read, hold on. Your pause. Interesting. Besides the idiocy of crossing an open lane, we're about to witness somebody get hit by a car on a bike that doesn't know how to ride a bike. But she's very attractive. So we will definitely net up and shut up. And we're about to do something related to the first word of that sentence. Okay. All right. See, now I, going from that to my, my <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> but okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so back to the story. <clears throat> so imagine you're in heaven, right? You're walking, about to walk through the gates and God sees you and he starts to read you off your life and he says insert your name here okay i have a philanthropist a owner of the world's biggest manufacturing and distributing company um father of five wonderful children um a triathlete um an olympian and a husband to a loving wife um, and was married 35 years. And you look up at God and you say, wait, wait, wait a second. That's, I didn't do any of that shit. What are you talking about? I, was, I worked at a Taco Bell. What are you talking about? Damn. And he says to you, it's like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. That's what you were supposed to do. That's what I created you to do. That was what you were made for was for that but you chose to not and of course he wouldn't say this nut up and shut up you chose (sighs) god damn i'm sorry oh god oh yeah wow that's kind of it's kind of crazy that's ridiculous you ever seen a michelin man (laughs) But the tire only has one location. So that shit looks like fucking hell. Bumble Okay. Anyway, you get my point though, right? Not up and shut up. Do what you're supposed to do. We gotta we gotta we, take, gotta, we, we gotta, gotta go to some things. We, we gotta go do the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AM Club Podcast. Oh, that shit. Yeah, out. See y'all. Yeah. Mike, Mike check. The AM Club Podcast.